What's going on everybody, it's Eric Ray with the back here helping you take your game to the next level and in today's video I'm going to be showing you bar none the best passing play in Madden 18. Now if you're new to the channel go ahead and hit the subscribe button below, make sure to hit the bell icon so that you join the notification squad and never miss an upload. So for today's video we are going to be showing the best passing play in Madden 18. This play is so good that it's got me contemplating switching my playbooks. I already have like schemes that I've worked out. Uh, offense that I like, you know, breaking down some stuff that I plan to put in an ebook later on for you guys. A lot of good stuff that I like, but this play is so dominant that I'm considering going to a playbook that has this play, and my other offense aren't isn't in any of the playbooks that have this play. So it's kind of a, uh, I'm kind of torn. But the play is just that good that it's got me contemplating just using this play and building around it. So it's in the trips tight end formation. And the play is called the PA shot wheel, and some trips tight ends it might be called PA uh post shot but it's it's gonna look the exact same so the the money on this play is the b route this wheel route this wheel route pretty much beats everything and you're gonna see just how glitchy it is it's, it's insane so we're gonna go against a cover two at first uh to showcase it now to set this play up what i like to do is i drag the tight end a and then i'll usually just block the running back uh we can send him to like the flats if we want to uh to help pull down the other light blue zone over there if we want to but more times than not, we can just block him and be good. So we're going to showcase his B route. Now, against Tampa 2s, when the outside cornerbacks are in cloud flats, we can pass lead, or not pass lead, excuse me. We can just bullet pass it, hold A for the possession catch, and we're going to get down in front of that cloud flat every time. I'll run it one more time to show you. It's not a fluke. If they're in a cloud flat, as soon as he makes his cut up the field, you just hold his icon and then press A for the possession catch. He gets down in front every single time. So if they go hard flat, they play underneath and they're saying, okay, let's let's run a hard flat. You can't quick pass it against a hard flat. It's key that you read this cornerback. That's the first step of this play is reading this cornerback. So we can see he's getting down here into the flat, so that's fine. We just let our wide receiver get past him, and then he's wide open for an even bigger gain. So playing hard flats is not the answer there. Now we go to a cover three, and you'll notice against a cover three, this is even more open. Watch just how open, watch how it just clears out over here for him. And you can actually run after the catch on this. You can also possession catch it and get down uh, if you feel a little bit safer doing that just in case to maybe avoid a hit. But in most cases, you can see you can run after the catch. Now let's go to man defense because people are saying, okay, we'll man him up. So we're in man press. Also, keep in mind, this is Patrick Peterson over here, one of the best man corners in the game. He's fast. He has good man uh, defense. He's tall. So all the things that you would need to defend this. Watch what happens to him. He gets annihilated. He gets cooked, and we're running after the catch. Doesn't stop it. So, now I know what you're thinking is, well, it's Julio Jones, right? Julio Jones is going to beat everybody. He's the best wide receiver in the game. Of course, it doesn't matter if it's Patrick Peterson. It's Julio Jones over there. And that's a good thought, and I thought the same thing. So, let's put Mohamed Sanu over there instead. Now, Mohamed Sanu is... An average wide receiver at best, right? Not a very good wide receiver. We're going to play man again, and it is still Patrick Peterson on him, okay? One of the best man corners in the game against, at best, an average receiver. A receiver that's not very fast. It doesn't have crazy route running. Watch what happens. He is completely roasted. That's Muhammad Sanu over there. So, the next thing you're probably thinking is, well... What about cover three Mabel? That should surely lock this up, right? I know somebody's already thinking that. Somebody might have already typed it in the comments before getting this far into the video because they do that sometimes. What about cover three Mabel? Well, cover three Mabel is not going to work against this either. As you can see, we're in the cover three Mabel. What you want to do is right when he passes the flat zone, you just want to bullet pass lead this to the sideline and then hold the possession catch. That purple zone isn't going to get over there to defend it. So none of this stops it. And that's just one route. That is one route. So if you get really exotic and find a way to take it away or user it, that's fine. But you have to worry about that one route. And we have other things we can do on this play. So let's go back to cover two here and look at what else we can do. We can always, of course, check it down to the drag route. That's always going to be an option against any zone defense in the game, of course. So we always have that. Worst case scenario. Let's look at the post route where Julio Jones is now. Against cover two. This is going to absolutely kill cover two. Post routes destroy cover two this year, so that's not the answer. And last but not least, we still are going to have this uh, crossing route over here by Gabriel. Now, this is the situation where I said sometimes I'll swing the halfback to kind of pull that cloud flat down. 
but I don't think it's actually necessary. I have to see really quick. I'm not 100% sure, but I think, yeah, you don't even need it. You can just pass lead this with a bullet to the right. Make sure you hold possession catch so that you get down in front of that safety. So literally every route on this play beats cover two. Every route. So even if they take away the wheel route, you're still fine. Now let's go to a cover three. And let's say they take away the wheel route against cover three. That's fine. Again, check it down to the drag. The drag is wide open. We're, we're getting yards after the catch, eight yards on a drag route. That's fine. That's all day right there. Let's go back to cover three, and let's look at the post route, because the post route will work against cover three as well, right? When he cuts, we just want to pass lead it, and we want to hold the possession catch. You got to hold the possession catch so that you get down your good money. Now, let's go back to man defense, man press, because let's say they somehow they use her over there, and they take him away. That's fine. Watch the Y route against man. He's unbumpable. So look at the separation he gets. Now, I would definitely recommend putting a fast guy there uh, with good route running if possible. Tyler Gabriel is not a good route runner, but he is fast. Uh, I think speed matters more than route running for this particular uh, route because it is unbumpable. We'll run it again, though, and show you. He's just absolutely leaving his man in the dust. So we have that against man. But that's not all. We still have the post route, which will also work against man. Watch what happens on the post route, especially if you have a good route runner here. When he gets to the inside, wide open, pass leader to the inside with a bullet pass, hold the possession, catch, get down. What are you going to do to stop this play? You can't stop it. I mean, I won't say you can't stop it. You know, some of the best players in the world, I'm sure, can find a way to contain it. But this is just one play. This is one play. We haven't tried running the ball yet. We haven't switched up to any of the other plays. This is one play with one route that your opponent has to key in on. So he has to put all of his resources or like a good amount of his resources into stopping that one wheel route. At that point, it makes it very easy to pick him apart with other routes. Then if you mix the run in with this too, you've got yourself something that is very difficult to defend. And I tell you right now, go into the game with this play. Go use it. Tell me how good it works. Don't take my word for it. Go into the game and run this on people and just let them try to find a way to stop it. Mix in the run with it and see what happens. This play is... It shouldn't be this good, but it is. It's just ridiculous. So, if you enjoyed this video, as always, just drop a like, comment, subscribe. Oh, wait, let me back up one second. Playbooks. Uh, I know for sure that it is in the Patriots playbook, and it is in the Broncos playbook. Um, I want to say it might be in the Chargers playbook as well. Those are the only ones I know offhand, so definitely check those playbooks out for this play. And if you like this video, as always, just drop a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.